you guys so much for joining me in today's video in which I will be getting rid of all my old unused lipsticks. This is not my lipstick collection video. I'm gonna be only going over lipsticks that I don't reach out too much for like the little sections here same with this round thing i will be cleaning out all of that this part of the vanity is the one that i usually do not reach out too much for so i know that i have probably some really old lipsticks in here that definitely needed to be uh, thrown away so uh yeah so let me guys know what you think about this video and if you like it definitely gives it a thumbs up so enjoy it's going to be long ride <laughs> so let's start with the top row here i have Honestly, all my lipsticks and lip glosses and lip products are spread kind of like all over. So focusing on small sections. So the first one I want to do with you is the top row here. So these are lip glosses. These two are the uh, Urban Decay High Five Shine lip glosses. And I absolutely love these. I will say though, because they come in all different finishes, it would be nice if they would just separate them on the website so it's easier whenever you're buying lips. These two are really, really beautiful. You see this one here has much more coverage. It would actually tint your lips nicely. Oh, these are so pretty. I love iridescent, kind of like really, really pretty finish. So um, this one is Candy Flip and this one is called Snapped. I would say that snapped is definitely my favorite here. Let's go uh, next. So next we have these two Avon lip glosses that I swear I've never used. Well, I will keep these and maybe hopefully use them soon. Next one we have the Catrice lip gloss. This is old. I'm going to probably declutter this, but this was such a gorgeous nude lip gloss. I hope they have it available. I've been a huge fan of Catrice and Essence makeup since literally like, oh my gosh, I know I was like 20. These two brands are very popular in Europe and uh, Catrice is a little bit more sophisticated brand from Essence, although these two are uh, sister brands, I believe, at least they were at the time. When I, when I lived in Europe. And I remember when they first came to US, I emailed them because I was like, hey guys, I love your products. I know your products from living in Europe. I would love to promote them on social media. So they sent me some uh, some bunch of products and uh, I remember I really like these uh, lip glosses. I hope they're still available because recently when I went on their website, I saw that a lot of products are not available anymore. Um, but yeah, this is, this is a uh, nice, very nice lip gloss. Um, you know what? I think I'm going to leave it because it still looks really good and smells good. And it's such a pretty nude color, man. Oh, love it. So I have some Rimmel um, lip glosses here too. These are great um, affordable drugstore lip glosses. This one's clear. This one has more like a shimmer sh uh, finish. And this one has this really pretty nude, pinky nude very still kind of sheer you can see skin so i don't know how i feel about sheer lip glosses i feel like i don't know if i want to have a sheer lip gloss i would just go for a clear one if i want to get a pink lip gloss that looks like this i would love this to actually show on my lips a little bit more my lips are kind of darker shade if that makes sense so a lot of these like sheer pinkish lighter shades don't really show up on my lips so um but yeah, it's a, it's a definitely a, a nice uh, drugstore lip gloss if you're looking for it. Oh my goodness, I cannot believe that I still have it. Um, this is actually a makeup brand that you can find in Lidl. You know that grocery store? If you live on the East Coast, you probably know it. I love, love, love it. I had it when I lived in Virginia. Now that I live in Texas, they don't have it. So, touche, because, oh my gosh, it gives me like the biggest european vibes when it comes to like grocery shopping so many awesome products great pri great prices but anyways i remember when the, they were kind of trying to promote their makeup i got a bunch of products i just never really used this and i think i will declutter this because i not sure if it's still good anymore so yeah this goes to the declutter pile this is such a gorgeous lip gloss from number seven. Oh, i really like this brand it's so pretty i use it a few times as a lip topper and i don't know i just like sparkles and 
it looks so pretty so yep this one is definitely staying and here we have Laura Mercier lip gloss which I like a lot too although this one is kind of clear with glitter so but it smells really mmm it smells really nice love this one and here we have Buxom and what is this? This is the full-on plumping lip cream. Alrighty. Ooh, looks like it's gonna be really pretty nude. Oh yes. Can you see that? Oh, nice. Okay, these are definitely staying. It's kind of crazy because I feel like I did not. I wasn't a huge fan of lip gloss not that long ago, but now I'm kind of like really get, getting into it, especially with beauty and makeup. I'm like, oh no, I don't like this, and then suddenly I'm like, oh, you know what? I actually like this trend so anyway so we are done with the first row so we, so far we decluttered one product I know I'm the worst I'm like the makeup hoarder but anyways let's go to the second war here and what do we have here okay let's see so we have the uh, pixie lip balm nice I will definitely keep it because I like lip balms and this is a uh, pretty pretty new this one though here is definitely uh yeah it's old so i'm gonna get rid of this one and next we have smashbox red lipstick wow never used it before okay nice matte finish okay definitely keeping this one i don't know why it's in my like lip glosses kind of area Oh, never mind. I have more lipsticks. Brand is called Belle and Argent. I'm sorry. I probably totally like spelling this wrong. But oh my goodness, this is such a beautiful, bold, purplish like magenta shade. Love it. And the formula is really nice. They are kind of pricey. This was actually gifted to me, but the color is really, really pretty. And the formula is really nice feels very hydrated oh my goodness this was one of my favorite lipsticks that I used to wear a lot as you guys can tell but unfortunately it's time to declutter this one. Oh my gosh it looks so beautiful because it used to be in my bag and I used to use it every single day when I was going to work so yeah this is unfortunately way too old it was gifted as well because honestly guys I don't really I rarely splurge on lipstick. I feel like if I really like something, I feel more comfortable repurchasing than just kind of buying right away without checking if I actually like the shade or the formula. It's a, nice, it's a very nice like mauve color, but it's old. It doesn't smell or anything, but I think it's time to go, time to go. Oh my goodness, guys. These are the L'Oreal, L'Oreal, what's the full name of it? L'Oreal Color Rich Shine Lipsticks. Oh my goodness, I'm a huge fan of the formula, especially for like spring and summer. These look so juicy on lips, you see, but uh, oh my goodness, look at this one, girls. This is gonna go to the declutter pile for sure. I love these, but because you can see that they are like not good anymore, I have to declutter them because I use them a lot and um, they remind me a lot of the new Wet n Wild that I did the whole um, swatches. I, I swatch every single shade on my channel. If you guys want to check it out, I will link it up here. So these two have a very similar formula. It's the high shine, kind of like sheer finish, like very glossy, but it feels so nice on the lips. Very moisturizing. It gives the lips like a nice shine. So if you have any wrinkles or any like unevenness, I feel like it really makes your lips look so good. So, and I believe this one is, yeah, it's definitely cheaper than the L'Oreal one. So yeah, this is definitely a very similar formula and I'm a huge, huge fan of both. But these are older and because of, the, I feel like because of the formula and the type of finish, um, these do not last long. So yeah, I will be decluttering um, all of them because it's been a while and uh, although I really like them, but it's time to go. Time to keep everything fresh, especially since now I have Wet n Wild ones. And I believe Wet n Wild 
wet and wild ones are under five bucks and the packaging is cute and like i said the formula is so nice like i love this one this is the shade what's it called uh close off look at such a pretty nude hope you guys can see um so yeah this one's staying l'oreal has to go okay so this is the moira cosmetics i have to say that i tried this matte lipstick and i really like the formula the color was really pretty it's like a red so i'll still keep it i will because i love my reds and um i will just make sure to sort out my lipsticks a little bit better um this is a pixi matte last liquid lip unopened yet so it's staying it's staying and again we have the urban decay um uh, hi-fi shine lip glosses they are really pretty i love them and on top of that they give your lips like a nice cooling effect too which i like so and that's another remount gloss let's see this one has i feel like this one is more opaque oh that's a nice pretty nude nice pretty pretty nude but it has some sparkles in it if you guys are interested that's the shade down to gloss 125 but this one's gonna go with all the remo ones and oh my goodness lip primer oh my gosh this thing is so old looks kind of fresh but um yeah definitely time to go mary Kay. it was gifted to me but that was like years ago so yep definitely decluttering this one so so far i'm saving a lot of space i'm excited so let's go to another row of lip products so this is gonna be a huge huge just mix of everything i feel like let me just remove the old the old swatches so i can uh, show you guys some more lipsticks up here is a mix of everything i see so let's start with the color pop ones these are old i got these two shades oh my goodness years ago i feel like it was when the color pop first was like coming to coming out with their products and they were very much um very much the it brand like the first I remember when everyone was obsessed with like matte lipstick the ultra matte lipsticks from them yep that's when i purchased these so these unfortunately are gonna be decluttered for sure because they're old and i haven't used them in a while and so i feel like i'm always like misspelling everything mind me creamy plumping lip powder and i will say that i really like these they kind of it's like an unusual applicator as you guys can say see but it's it feels really it applies really soft it's a nice applicator it feels really soft on the lips the only thing i don't like is that it's very hard to get precise with it so it's nice with neutral shades but whenever i was trying like a darker shade i had to have a lip liner um just to you know just to make sure that it's nice and even but these are really nice i like them a lot and i believe my favorite shade is called darling don't as you guys can see uh, i use it a lot so um it lost its writings but um yeah it's uh, very similar to the the other one so very nice nude color the next one we have another um that's the matte liquid lips from moira uh, that's the nude color so it's gonna go to the other one nana's hi we're here again please don't make any weird sounds um sorry my cat always hangs out with me and she's been very vocal lately i think she's getting i think she's just being lonely because honestly we were so busy with the kids that she doesn't get much attention as of lately but anyways let's go back to lipstick so this is the kat von d matte lippy in shade mother i absolutely love it i know kat von d is very pro problematic um she's not part of the brand anymore but i remember that this was one of my favorite matte lipsticks oh my gosh it is a very pretty color but it's time to say goodbye to it it's been a while and it's kind of old so yeah so the next product i have here is another i see moira so i got yeah i got a few more shades so we're not gonna be talking about it and now we have the anastasia liquid lipstick in soft lilac and you know what it's so weird because these two seem like really similar the Kat Von D and this one but for some reason this shade looked terrible on me I feel like it's just it's just maybe the wrong undertone or something wasn't a huge fan so um yeah I will be decluttering this one 
Next one is the uh, NYX Love Out Loud. I've never used this shade, and I think the reason is, as you guys can tell, it's very brown, very matte and brown, not looking very flattering on my lips, so I will be decluttering. This is a very nice shade from number seven. It's definitely a lip gloss I would love to use during like the fall. And also it's like a nice nude. So I will be leaving this one. Um, this is the uh, Burberry matte lipstick. This was gifted to me and not a huge fan of the nude because of this brown like a beige undertone. I feel like it just does not look very flattering on my skin tone. So I will be decluttering this one because I literally never use it. And the last one here we have, oh my goodness, that's the white Russian from Buxom again. But, okay, so I got it confused with the lipstick. I like the lipstick or I think it's a lip gloss. Yes, I love the lip gloss. Not a fan of this lipstick. I think it was like a liquid lipstick or something because it's just way too light um my, for my skin tone and on top of it this smells so it's old so it's gotta go it's gotta go all right oh my gosh i'm so excited i'm saving so much space already i'm going to finally have space for some new lip products so i'm really excited all right so, all right, so this is the fun bright lipstick row as you guys can tell so wow this is pretty old this is the brand that does not i believe does not exist anymore this is really bright but this is also kind of dried out so yeah definitely decluttering this one was a very pretty very vibrant shade perfect for summer i got this anastasia lip gloss Oof, i love bold lips like that guys but that's called the that's the karina liquid lipstick it's very very bright I will keep it because I like the color. And the next one is Estee Lauder um, Pure Color Envy in shade Envy. And guys, it's such a beautiful, vibrant lip, lip shade. It looks kind of weird inside of the bottle though. So I think I'm gonna declutter. Yeah, so I think it's time to get rid of this one because it um, looks kind of weird. I don't want to mess with it. And it smells kind of weird too. Yeah, that's the L'Oreal. I already mentioned I'm getting rid of all of them. That's the Pixi uh, Matte Formula. It's really nice. Honestly, lately I've been all about the glossy lip. But as the fall approaches, I feel like I'm slowly turning into the matte side. And I've been thinking about wearing some more matte lipstick as of lately. That's the uh, Jeffree Star Liquid Lip. Um, super vibrant not a huge fan of the brand anymore i decided i'm not going to support the brand anymore so i'm going to declutter this one okay so the next product we have is anastasia dollhouse lip gloss i think i got this at tj maxx ah this is like one of the pinks that i feel like just does not look flattering on me but you know I'm just gonna keep it just in case if I ever do like a look and um, and I have it because I don't have I don't think I have any other shade like this and I've never used this I love oranges so we'll keep this one. hopefully I'll use it one day um, what we have here is lively iconic lipstick what brand is this oh that's makeup geek okay now I remember I really like this I really like, the, oh yeah, I really like this shade. I always smell the product in case if I have any doubts if I should keep it. It smells good, I'm keeping it. <laughs> and now we have Laura Mercier and we have Muse and Metro Velour Extreme Matte Lipsticks. In case if you thought that Laura Mercier only does like boring neutrals, there you go. Bam, these are very vibrant very vibrant and oh nice summer shades i kind of forgot about them you know oh my goodness but they look really nice so i am definitely keeping these next we have another pixie uh, matte lipsticks oh this one is 
so pretty. Ooh. So as you guys can tell, this one is a little bit like darker than the Dolly one from Anastasia. So I will keep this one. And then we have the same box on, but I have purple. And then Laura Mercier, the purple shade. So I have purples here. And then we have this one. It's the infallible, I can never say this word, from L'Oreal. It's the metallics. And... Hmm. I don't know. Maybe I'll do a look with it one day. I will keep it. It's pretty unusual. And then we have some Avon lipsticks. And I'm going to be honest with you guys. These were all gifted to me because I used to be on Avon's PR list. And I'll be honest with you. I have no problem with the formula. I haven't really like tried the mat the mats like this one, but they have like the moisturizing, hydrating. I think it's I don't know what the, what is it called. Oh, I think it's this one. But they are really nice. They feel nice and comfortable on the lips. I was uh, I was actually positively surprised at how much I like these. So I picked a few shades that I really like and I keep them here in case if I want to use them any anytime soon. All right, so we're done here. I feel like this video will never end, literally. All right, so I'm gonna try to be really, really fast. This is one of my favorite drawers. It's the boldest lipsticks. Um, not all of them. I have them spread like throughout my whole vanity here. So, but these are the ones that I keep in here. So let's go over them quickly. Let me just remove uh, the swatch. I have some dark reds. This is a lip gloss from number seven. Ooh, it's a nice juicy red shade. If you guys are curious, it's called Roaring Red. Definitely stays. This is one of my favorite lipsticks. It's called uh, Cherry Picking from Wet n Wild. It's such an old, cheap lipstick, but I know the formula is kind of drying because their um, matte formula is not my favorite, but I just love it. I don't know, and it's such a oldie but goodie. Um, I definitely gonna keep the, keep this one. Um, then I have some evil ones, and then this was actually a really pretty shade, but it's old. I have to declutter it. It was very vampy looking, um, but like I said, this brand I don't think it exists anymore. Too bad, but I would like the shade in the past. Next we have what is this? I have never used this nude stick. Oh, it's lip and cheek pencil, huh? Oh, this is probably this. The reason why i never use it because it's a very dark brown huh curious i will leave it maybe i will use it this fall for some crazy looks spoil me that's one of my favorite like a darker but still kind of very wearable shade from Waxum. so it's this and i have anastasia and it's called sad girl I don't even know if these exist anymore, by the way. I know that these are old lip glosses and lipsticks from Anastasia, but this is so pretty. Oh, love it. And next we have the Body Shop. It's a very nice shade here. It's a nice little, kind of like ruby red, more like, I feel like a little bit darker sh red shade from them. So definitely staying. This is the Laura Mercier. Why is it in with the darks? Oh, I think I put it in here because it's kind of unusual shade. It's almost like a pumpkin matte. It's called Sorry. Sorry, I don't speak French. And this one is Makeup Geek Foiled Lip Gloss. Very interesting finish. Oh, yeah. That's really pretty. And this is called Headlighter. All right, so we're done here. Today, we're just kind of really going over all lipsticks that I have. So we already went over. These are old, as you guys can tell, are kind of dirty. So this is definitely be the clutter pile. And these are my MAC lipsticks. And I swear to God, I feel like I'm just <sighs> holding on to them for no reason. Anyways, getting rid of these. And now we are in this row here, and I will, I really hope that Essence Cosmetics, I think they still have them. These Essence uh, matte lipsticks are really nice if you're looking for affordable matte um, lipstick with nice formula. I really like these. Oh my gosh, look at my hand. Oh, this is a very pretty red shade here. Um, number 06, if you guys are curious. And I'm definitely going to keep these. 
This is another lipstick that I absolutely love. It's such a gorgeous magenta, um, like a fuchsia shade. Um, hold on, I gotta clean my hands. This is gorgeous, gorgeous uh, shade. 19, I think it's the fuchsia one. Absolutely stunning. Oh my gosh, it looks very flattering on lips. So I think I'm gonna keep this one because I haven't really used it much. And then we have some Pixie Beauty, a Runway Rogue. I, this brand reached out um, to me and I will be honest with you guys, the lipstick formula and the packaging is very nice. The, the shade I got is called Stilettos and I have it in this picture here that you guys can see right now and on the screen and it's such a pretty very bold kind of like orangey red but unfortunately it's it, I can tell that it's kind of old um, the formula is not the same so I'm gonna declutter this one and here I have some more mattes from Essence and some of my Urban Decay lipsticks device lipsticks um, they are fairly new so I'm gonna keep them all and yeah, I think we are. Are we done here? Yeah, I believe so. Okay, yeah. So thank you so much guys for watching again. I hope you guys enjoyed my declutter. I think it was way overdue. It was definitely time to get some more space in my makeup collection here so I can update it with newer lip products. So yeah, let me guys know if you like this uh, type of videos. I will definitely gonna be doing the foundation declutter very soon because that drawer needs intervention for sure. So thank you guys so much for watching again. I hope you guys have a great day. Take care. Bye.